All right, people. I got some craziness on my channel going on, and I'm reacting or responding, whichever way you want to look at it, to some channel comments. I'm going to uh, do a screencast expressly in hopes to clear this little matter up. It's 9.39 a.m. See down here in the right corner of my screen, Pi 28, 2018. All right. I, I told him I would show the process of me getting to uh, the Sedalia map, uh, you know, so because, well, let me show you the, what's going on here. Scroll down here a little bit. All right. Uh, Rocky's Rocks. Rocky Rock. Rocky Rocks. Uh, Correct me somehow. All right. You are showing a map of the Park Chester section of the Bronx of, of the Bronx, New York. Okay, this has got me rattled. I'm telling you the truth. Not Sedalia, Missouri. And at first I'm like, WTF? Does the guy not know how, do the people not know how to look at a map? Because this was actually on my mind the last two or three days. How some of my family on my husband's side, that they obviously do not know how to map. You know, it, it, it can happen. Not everybody pays attention in school, okay? And then my response, you can see it for yourself. I don't need to read it. And then again from Rocky's Rocks. Rocky Rock X. Rocky's Rock X. Anyway, I don't know what game you're playing. Your map clearly shows the Cross Bronx Expressway heading east to the Whitestone Bridge, heading to Queens, New York, and Long Island. Alright. Well, this will probably take at least an hour to load. But I'll try to keep it short enough that that's not going to be necessary, all right? Because I did state that uh, there would be one, especially by tonight, okay? Because I am this kind of shook up about this. All right, so back to the map. Well, we'll get, well, we'll get to the map. But I wanted to show you clearly this is what I do. I click maps after I type. 65301, which is the zip code, as you can see down here, postal code in the Pettis County, Missouri, city, Sedalia, Missouri, and maybe these have that zip code too, right? Okay, so, maps, and I'm not sure if this takes a while, because it depends, you know, it just all depends on my connection rate. I'm on Usenet. Sometimes it can just take, like, forever. So I'll have to go. That's why I usually have a lot of tabs open. I'll go do something else. Or go in the other room and do something there, you know. Go to the bathroom, get a coffee. I had to actually go eat cookies, and I dipped them in this chocolate cheesecake gif stuff um, earlier to settle my tummy back down. As I stated on my, in a comment, coffee's normally enough for me. Well, I did go out for buffet yesterday, but I hadn't been out for about two weeks. So I'm like, okay, I got to go to the store. I'm going to put something in there. It's supposedly a holiday weekend, but I'm not even sure about that right now. Everything's just crazy. Okay, so here's... Here's this, and what we want is satellite view once it gets loaded, instead of just the map. But that, all that um, options will show up down here in the bottom right corner once this X turns into whatever it turns into, into this swirly deal. That's what we'll call it. See, swirly deal. 
the load icon. Okay, so personally, I'm not sure how to really uh, pronounce your YouTube name, and I'm sorry about that. This is for you, okay? I swear I'm not gaming anyone. It bothers me to be um, thought of to be gaming someone or scamming or lying. It just does. It gets way up my crawl. You have no idea. So, yeah, I am still waiting. It will. Oh, here's a satellite view right here. Okay, I missed it. Get the satellite view. Sip of coffee. All right, let's see if I can search. Let's get directions. That's going to take forever, too. I'm sorry about that, but I figured if, um, if I just get a map up there and not do it the way I'm doing it to show you specifically that that's exactly how I'm doing it, that you'd be going, uh, no, you, uh, Photoshop that to mess with me okay keep in mind all right i am too old for bs all right i'm 55 plus years old i've had a lot of crap happen to me in my life i don't need to create any more crap in the world there's more than plenty to go around for everyone if crap is what they want to happen in their world i'm just not at all into it all right, I hate to bust your bubble, but I will. I'm taking the long way around this. I hope I have enough time. I'm already half the way through my 15 minutes. So come on. Okay, I see the community center, and that's like right across the street from my house. See, it was very straight. The state fair is clear across town. All right, we live north of 50 and uh, east of 65. See here, 65. We lived over here in the old downtown area. Community center. Yes, and I apologize for the, for the time it's taken. This is not that area of the Bronx heading into Long Island at all. I do not know what's going on with this. I do not know what kind of glitch in the matrix we have found ourselves in. But if so, you pointed it out. You will get the credit if, if there's some kind of monstrous conspiracy behind it. I won't try to, to steal your thunder at all. Because I wasn't the one who noticed it and said, hey, this is not a Sedalia, Missouri map. This is some kind of, you know, Bronx thing. All right, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Public Library Community Center. Let's try go there. Can we do this? That's like right across the street from my house. Right. Let's try to zoom some more. My lovelies. Please hurry. And see, I pointed out all these places nearby. We weren't remote when our when my stepdaughter lived there and we went to the base all the time. You saw in the first of the video. The ba the base is like a twenty minute drive from 20, 22 minute drive west from our house and we went there shopping all the time but there's the post office as you can see right here and we're about a block and a half from that 
and there's the Catholic Church we were catty cornered from St. Patrick's see clearly right here community center that is East 3rd Street that no here's East 3rd Street that's the alley there um, sorry about that we were north of East 3rd Street and before they built the Essex which I mentioned in that video and I'll link the two together um, this was all an empty lot we were our house was just north of that part of their drive there that used to be alley and our house sat right here where this is now parking lot and then this was our vacant lot up here um, that uh, we had to mow we had a big c-band satellite dish out there and then this is East Second Street and this let me pull it down a little can make it more center and I will get it um, another I can okay the abusive daycare that I used to attend in the 60s is now my friend old friend Rita's house and she claims it's haunted and she's got all kinds of things but see it's even written on the street it's tagged South Washington Avenue okay this is the street that separates our property from Rita's which was called Melita daycare just a minute I got cough <laughs> ah, pardon me. Let's have a coffee. Our house, okay, was right across from this little building here, which was Atkins Cleaning Company. All right, this is now a care facility and apartments. See, they, the company that built the Essex bought my house straight out to tear down, to build this mess here. All right. It's part of what they call the downtown dream. Downtown dream um, project. It was a project. All right. They had some other plans. But see, you mentioned in your post about a bridge and that's not the one I want there if I can get this going again real quick all right white stone bridge it's right here on your comment and then I go back to the map we don't we didn't call this a bridge we call this a viaduct Heads over the tracks. This at one time, this East St. Louis Street, it was the most dangerous street in town. My dad used to carry mail on that. It's only like one block long. Um, the drug dealers at one time occupied like every single house on the block. All right, but you can see it's not a very good picture because uh, there's no shadow, but I mean, the shadow would help you see it's a bridge, okay, that goes over uh, Union Pacific Railroad tracks, all right. Oh, and that Mickey Smith, when they beheaded him, he was found somewhere near the bridge. And you see how close to my freaking house that is, like a block and a half to two blocks. But um, I am going to have like half a minute left. This is the area you were calling that place in the Bronx. But it is, I assure you, look over here to the left, please. Sedalia, Missouri, 65301. Okay. Sorry to disappoint. We aren't in the Bronx yet. 
I mean, maybe someday. Thanks for watching.